this is Miss Leslie, and today we're going to be learning about Cinderella. Let's dive into our story time. Welcome to the theater. Tonight's performance will be Cinderella by Sergei Prokofiev. Backstage, the dancers warm up as the musicians tune their instruments. The audience waits excitedly for the ballet to begin. The curtain opens. Now the dancers begin to tell their tale. Once upon a time, a girl named Cinderella lived with her stepfamily. Cinderella dreamed of being a dancer, but her stepmother didn't care about Cinderella's dreams. She cared only about Cinderella's chores. It was Cinderella's job to scrub floors, wash dishes, and tend to the fire, while her stepsisters drank tea, brushed their hair, and chatted about marrying princes. Work harder, Cinderella, they would say. Do you think it's important to have dreams and goals? Why? Cinderella never complained. Doing chores gave her a chance to rehearse her dance steps and dream her dreams. Sweeping is my favorite job, she would tell her friends, the kitchen mice. Cinderella loved to pretend she was a ballerina and the broom was a male dancer. She would swirl and spin about the kitchen floor, making believe it was a grand ballroom. Cinderella has a positive attitude. She makes the best of a bad situation by using it to help her achieve her dreams. Are there some ways you can do this? At night, while her stepfamily slept, she would practice the ballet exercises her real mother had taught her and read books by the fire's embers. It's important to dream, but it's also important to study and practice. Dreams and practice together are an unbeatable combination. Cinderella was as kind as she was graceful and studious. One morning, an old woman appeared at the kitchen window asking for food. Her stepsister shouted, go away, hag, no food here. But Cinderella slipped her own breakfast into her pocket and snuck outside. Please, she told the old woman, take this, and may your luck change for the better. May yours too, said the woman with a wink. Kindness often has surprising rewards. Have you ever been kind to anyone? Has anyone ever been kind to you? How did you feel? Later that day, a letter arrived from the palace. Cinderella's stepsisters were bursting with excitement, but didn't know how to read. What does it say, they asked Cinderella. The prince is hosting a ball, announced Cinderella, reading the note. Tonight, at the palace, and we are invited. Not you, Cinderella, laughed her stepsisters, just us. And they hurried off to buy things for the ball, leaving Cinderella behind. Cinderella is a great reader. That means she can learn things her stepsisters can't. Is it nice for Cinderella's stepsisters to leave her out of their plans? Cinderella sighed. Someday I'll wear a beautiful gown and dance at a ball. She owned only one tattered house dress that she wore every day. Cheer up, Cinderella, said her mouse friends. We'll have our own ball. The mice scurried about the house, gathering scraps of cloth. Cinderella's bird friends stitched them together into a gown. It wasn't much to look at, but Cinderella said, it's the most beautiful gown I've ever seen, and put it on. Even though the mice's dress isn't very pretty, it is beautiful to Cinderella. Why do you think that is? Dance for us, Cinderella, cheered the mice. Oh, please. Cinderella put on the point shoes her mother had given her and began to dance a solo. Soon she was swept away by her imagination. In her mind, she saw magical fairies dancing. They made her want to dance even more beautifully. When you see someone else doing something beautifully, does it inspire you to perform better yourself? When she opened her eyes, something strange had happened. She was wearing the same gown she had worn in her imagination. Standing before her was a real live fairy glowing with light from inside. I know you, gasped Cinderella. You're the woman who came to our window. Yes, but I'm really your fairy godmother, said the fairy. And tonight all your kindness and hard work will be rewarded. You shall go to the prince's ball and you shall look and feel like the princess you already are inside. The fairy godmother knows that Cinderella is already beautiful on the inside. Beauty happens inside first, outside second. With a sweep of her magic wand, the fairy turned the mice into great white horses and a garden pumpkin into a glorious golden carriage. But there is one thing you must remember, Cinderella. My magic ends at 12 o'clock. Leave the ball before midnight. 
The fairy godmother waved her wand again, and a sparkling pair of crystal slippers appeared on Cinderella's feet, away from the carriage, over the treetops. The lights go down, and act one ends. The audience bursts into applause. Soon the conductor waves his baton, and the orchestra starts again. It's time for act. The palace ballroom was bustling with women from all over the kingdom, eager for a chance to dance with the prince. When it was the stepsisters' turn, the prince danced with each of them quickly, hardly looking at their faces. The prince doesn't seem to be enjoying himself, said the king. That's because none of the ladies can dance as well as he, said the queen. Just then, a hush fell across the room. Cinderella stepped into the ballroom at the top of the stairs. She seemed to glow with her own inner light. When we're feeling confident and beautiful inside, we seem to shine on the outside. The prince looked at her and felt his heart leap. As Cinderella came down the stairs on point, he fell under the spell of her beauty. He took her hand and whirled her onto the dance floor. Cinderella and the prince danced a pas de deux across the ballroom, dipping and turning together like two birds in a flock. The other dancers formed a corps de ballet around them. As the guests looked on, goosebumps popped up on their skin. The beauty of dance can move people in special ways. Art can be very powerful. The prince and Cinderella danced thoroughly combinations, gazing into each other's eyes. They forgot all about the other guests. They forgot about the king and queen. They forgot about the floor and the four walls. They even forgot about the clock. Suddenly, the great palace chime struck midnight. Gong. Did you ever notice that when you're doing something you love, you forget about time? Why do you think that is? Cinderella remembered the fairy's warning. Oh no, she cried, I must go. She turned to run up the stairs. Too late, leaving one crystal slipper behind, she began to change back into everyday Cinderella. Come back, shouted the prince, holding the slipper. I love you, but Cinderella was gone. The next day, the prince vowed, I will travel every inch of this kingdom and find the foot that fits the slipper. The prince traveled from door to door, asking every girl in the kingdom to try on the slipper. No foot would fit. At last, there was only one house left to visit. When Cinderella's stepmother saw the prince approaching her home, she said, Go hide in your room, Cinderella, and stay quiet. The prince tried the slipper on Cinderella's stepsisters, then her mother, then her stepmother. No luck. Well, announced the prince with a sigh, it seems there are no other ladies in this house or this kingdom. Wait, there's me, shouted a voice from Cinderella's room. The prince asked to see the hiding girl. Surely you don't think this cinder thing could be the dancer from the ball, laughed the stepmother. It's important to obey your parents, but it's also important to speak up if you're being treated unfairly. But when the prince gazed into Cinderella's eyes, his heart knew the truth. He placed the slipper on her foot and it fit like an acorn into its shell. The prince took Cinderella's hand and they danced out the door and into the square. Everyone stopped and watched, their spirits lifted by the dazzling dance. I think the prince has found his bride, said the king. I think the prince has found his partner, said the queen. I think Cinderella has found her dream, sighed the mice. The lights go down and the curtain closes. The dancers take a curtain call as the audience claps and cheers. Everyone in the theater, the dancers and the audience feels lighter and brighter inside. That's the magic of ballet. Cinderella and her prince find love for each other through their love for dance. Perhaps a fairy tale marriage is about two people sharing their life as equal partners. The end. All right, we're gonna start with some plies. And plie means to bend. So we're gonna start with our bending our knees and stretch, and bend our knees, and stretch, and plie, and stretch, and open our feet to first, and bend our knees, and stretch, and bend, and stretch, and plie, and stretch, and plie, and stretch. We're going to rise up on our toes, and lower, Bring our arms to first, and rise up on our toes, and lower. Arms up above our head to third, and rise, and lower, 
and bring our arms down to finish. Okay, we're going to do tendu, which means to stretch. So when we tendu our foot out, we brush it nice and long, keeping our both of our knees straight as we can. And we're going to no bend in the knee. Do the other side, nice and straight. Knees and bring it in. We turn it out. Nice and straight. Knees, pointed toes, and and other side, and brushing along the floor. It doesn't lift off the floor and bring it in. All right, next we're going to do some piques. So we're going to bring our foot out like we're doing a tendu, and we're going to tap it on the floor. You can use your imagination and pretend that the floor is super hot, so you don't want to burn yourself, or you can pretend that it's too cold and you don't want to burn yourself. You can try the other side, keeping those knees nice and straight, and break the floor. Tap, tap, tap. And then you can try the other side again. Don't want to burn yourself. And other side. Tap, tap, tap. And in. And finish. Next up, we're going to do some rep to raise, which is a balancing game. So we're going to bring our toe up all the way up to our knee and try to hold it. Don't fall over. Don't fall over. Keep up nice and tall. And done. Good job. Another side. We bring it up all the way to our knee, and make sure you're balancing, stay nice and tall, don't lean over to the side or the other side, nice and straight, good, and come down, awesome job everyone. Next up we're going to do a tanlie, which is a traveling step, so we're going to start in first position, and tanlie our foot to the side, we're going to plie, and shift to the other side, and close back to first, and bring our other foot out to the side, we plie and shift our weight and close back to first. And again, tendu and plie and tendu and close first. And tendu, plie and tendu, close first. Nice job, everyone. Right, now we're going to do quarter bra. So we're going to start with our arms here. We're going to bring them up to first. And up and over head, and open. We're gonna scoop up our ball. We have like a big beach ball on our arms. Up and over head, and let it go. And one more time. We have our ball in our hands. Hold it nice and tight, all the way up, and let it go. And now we're going to do nice butterfly arms up and down, up and down. And down, we're going to do it in front of us, like waves at the beach. Very nice job, everyone. Good job. We can go back to our butterfly arms and tiptoe around the room. Very nice, everyone. Good job. Float those arms up and down, up and down. And now we're going to get ready for the ball. So we can put on our tiara, our nice and beautiful dress, put on our shoes. We're going to do brush rocks. We brush, and we brush, and we brush, and brush. You can turn it out. Brush, and brush, all the way around the room. Brush, and brush, 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 brush. And very nice, you can start running with this and have a little happy tuck. Keep those feet nice and stretched out in front of you. Good job, everyone. Stretch those knees. Good. And last thing, we can do marches across the floor. We go back to our retro position, our toe all the way up to our knee like we're a flamingo. We march around the room, marching, march. You can go a little quicker. March, march, march. Very nice, everyone. Good job. And that's it. Now we're going to go across the floor starting with some gallops. So we're going to step to the side and bring our feet together. And side. And feet together. Side, feet together, all the way across the floor. Side, feet together. Side, feet together. We open and close. Open and close. Open and close. Very nice. Let's go back the other way. So we open and close. Open and close. You can go a little faster. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Very nice. And now we're going to add a little hop to it. So you can do a gallop. Up, squeeze the feet together in the air. Up, up, up. Another way. Up, 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 up. Very nice job. Great. Right, next.
next we're gonna learn how to do a spring point. So we've already learned how to tendu, so we're gonna tendu our foot out, straight knees, and then we're going to plie, and then we're gonna switch to the other side, just our toes are touching the floor, lightly on the ground, and switch, and switch, and switch. Keep those heels up, switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. And you can do a little faster, switch, 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 and finish. Next, we're going to learn how to do a pot shot, which is the step of the cat. So we're gonna learn how to jump over the fence. So we bring our foot up to our right, right, like we learned, and then we're gonna plie and jump to the side and close. And foot up, plie, and jump the other side. Then you wanna do it at the same time. So you can do one, two, and lift. One, two, and lift. One, two, and lift. One, two, and lift. And now you can try it going the other way. So you bring your foot up to your chin, you plie that foot that's on the ground, and switch, and lower. And foot up, plie, and switch, and lower. Then you can put it a little faster, and together to so go up, up, down. Up, up, feet together. Up, up, feet together. Up, up. And finish. Good job, everyone. And now it's time to do a fun jump. We're going to do our bunny hops. So we're going to hop like a bunny. We're going to do a bunny hop. Two, three, and three back. One, two, three. You can even have your arms out in front of you like the bunny. Go one, two, three. Point those toes. One, two, three. And finish. Very nice. To finish up our ballet class, we're going to take all the steps that we've learned and create them into a little dance, so follow along. We're going to start with butterfly ups and down.
Now I'm going to show you some variations I did in the Cinderella Ballet. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun dancing with you and I hope you guys did too.